Hey, and I've just got a nice little Ping iOS review today, as you can see from the install Ping iOS icon here. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do a massive review in it because it is a fork of Ubuntu, basically. Not a fork, it's based off of Ubuntu, and it has a lot of Ubuntu and Mint influences in it. Uh, but yeah, it's nice, you get with it. Docky panels here. And I'm not really sure whether this is GNOME or XFCE because it, it's got mashup of both a little bit. Like this, I'm not really sure if that's in any. It's quite confusing. It's got it's mashed up from quite a few different desktop environments, I think, because this is from the GNOME Linux Mint start menu type thing. And yeah, it looks like XFCE to me, but you know. Perhaps someone could tell in the down below uh, what it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, so in your default docky bar, you get docky settings. Close that. You get your Firefox web browser, Thunderbird, Deluge, or Deluge, have you set? Bits on client, ribbon box, VLC media player, terminal, and your waste basket. After the separator, you get computer, guest, documents, music, pictures, videos, downloads, or whatever your username is actually in the guest. So I'm running it from the live CD because it's pretty snappy because it's a nice quality DVD. You get up here your web builder desktop. Hmm. I'm not sure what that is. You get your system monitor up here. As you see me drag across the screen, it's blue. On the live CD, by default, you only get two backgrounds. Just a plain black one and the default one, which is that. Uh, yeah, the update manager. As you can see, it's Mint updates. It's more, I think it's got quite a lot in common with Mint as well. This is the Mint update uh, type thing, as it were. Um, yeah, looks a lot like Ubuntu there. Oh, no, that's fine. Um, yeah. Got the little bits up there. A nice interface. I'm not going to go into compatibility, etc., because it's the same as Ubuntu, being based off Ubuntu. Can install whatever you would install on Ubuntu or Mint right into Ping iOS because it's obviously based off of Ubuntu, so that's fine. Um, it's more of a looks and feel and the ethos of the operating system I'm going to be covering because this is basically an out of the box distro. So you can get it out of the box and it's got everything if we go up here. Straight out of the box, it's got absolutely everything. See, if you can pause that to see what exactly what it has, but yeah, it's got most of the stuff you'd need. So yeah, um, and it's a beginner distro for uh, first and foremost as well. I'm not going to go into the installer because I had problems with the mouse rotating, etc. When I did that, and if you request it, I might go for an install in another video. I'm not actually install it, walk you through it, and then cancel it at the last moment. But it's a nice little operating system. I'd recommend you to try it out if you you can. Uh, yeah, it's very solid. Obviously, based off Ubuntu, it's going to be compatible. You've got your control center there. I see it takes a lot of influence out of Mint and Ubuntu. Not just Ubuntu, Mint as well. And the docky, having that by default, I think it's a good choice because it looks really nice. You see... Just I'm raving about it basically because it's basically an Ubuntu based distro, all the compatibility you want. Nice little docky down there. Beginner friendly distro with everything you want and then a full install. So you don't have to keep installing stuff. Just do your update once or twice if you want. It's based off of another great thing that came out of Ubuntu. It didn't come out of Ubuntu, but Mint is based off of Ubuntu. So without, if you know what I mean. So Ubuntu came about, then Mint was based off Ubuntu, and Ping Guy OS is based off of Mint and Ubuntu in some ways. I think it draws different aspects of each, so it's heavily based on Ubuntu, drawing influence from Mint, which is based off Ubuntu, if you know what I mean. I'm just going to end it there, because it's only meant to be a quick little look. Um, yeah, subscribe, thumbs this up, and I'll be back for more. See you later, guys. Bye.